Anish, Rook takes f5. Did you see that one coming? <laughs> no, I did have a feeling before the game that something bad is going to happen. <laughs> but uh, yeah, well, oh, I must say um, the feeling vanished in the opening because uh, I could have played h6 at some point. But I thought, uh, I was hoping he would drop back without me going h6 and then I would win a whole tempo. So uh, yeah, I, I saw the ideas, attacking ideas, and I, um, I see that my pieces are not developed. Mm, and I saw the idea of a five. Uh, in different versions, uh, but I thought if it's not dangerous, there was one version to go five right away. I would have to take with the jip one, bishop c5, I go rook c8, and, and I thought it's not uh, that dangerous. And I thought, okay, you know, rook up I should should manage. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I didn't see this particular version. And once he played a five, I realized that it's coming, and then I realized that it's uh, quite bad actually. Okay, and at some point you probably were lost. Is that true? Well. Um, yeah, I was in trouble, it's for sure, uh, for a big part of the game. And um, after he sacrificed Rook, I quickly gave back the Queen. And initially I had some hallucination that I'm drawing by force, but uh, then I realized that my my way was not, not, not fine and I had to adjust. And then I lose a couple of pawns and uh, then it's suffering. Usually uh, when you are uh, Queen down, uh, generally it's good to be uh, Queen down when you are lost. Um, it's harder usually to convert. Uh, because, you know, I with two Rooks, um, there are always some some chances, some hopes, and he was spending a lot of time. So I got a little bit optimistic uh, about my drawing chances, but so I don't think I was lost. Maybe technically lost is a better description. Okay. Well, uh, thank you and good luck. Thank you.